three phase, meet Fadal. Fadal, three phase. So as you guys can see, this is new to me, my three phase converter. This, oh, first off, big shout out to uh, Yusuf Khan over at uh, Khan Machine Works um, down in Florida. He was gracious enough, to, he saw me on uh, Facebook or he had, you know, a phase converter for sale and we made a deal and here I am. I got a new phase converter. I was thinking about brand, buying brand new, but you know, this deal came along. It fit my budget and my machine. And here it is. So what this is, is an American rotary, three phase rotary converter. It is 25 horsepower. As you can probably tell, VMC 15. 15 means it's 15 horsepower, three phase. Um, normally, American Rotary says you should have a phase converter that's 2x your horsepower on your machine. Now, reading through the Fadal um, manuals, going through American Rotary, calling them, talking to the, their tech services, as well as talking to Yusuf, the guy who sold me um, the phase converter, he ran a 20 horsepower machine off of that guy and the Fadal manuals say, although they don't recommend phase converters, uh, typically one and a half to two X, um, the horsepower is recommended. So 15 times what 1.5 is what 22 and a half, 25 looks like we're, you know, right there in that good range. We're not completely at the 30 horsepower, but I'm confident this guy will work based on Yusuf having his 20 horsepower machine and then the research I've done that says, you know, it'll work. So here it is. Let me, uh, I'm going to open up real quick. I got a few screws to un undo. We'll take a look inside and then figure out how best to place this. I'm thinking over here, back in the corner. I might put it either on that wall or on this one over here. You can see here's the the panel back here. I'm probably gonna mount it. Oh, I just gotta watch out for this guy. This guy is probably slide up in here. Oh, we should have plenty of room because that guy will fit right there. Have the wall mounts. Uh, but yeah, I gotta run. You know, this is also a really short distance, so I gotta get a breaker eventually when I get. It mounted, everything set up, breaker, get conduit to come around, go to the wall unit, and then hopefully from there, I don't know if we'll go up and around or if we'll go, I don't know, on the floor and up, probably up and around because I don't want to have coolant get things wet. But yeah, here's where the power is going to come in. So, got to figure out where, actually, this might actually reach. I don't know. I'm going to figure this one out, but uh, let me go unbolt the cover on the phase converter. Oh yeah, you guys can probably see that I've, I've rearranged some stuff. So I've got a bunch of crap over here. But toolbox has moved away. This table that used to be approximately here, and it was shoved over here when we got the machine in here. It's now over there. You got the shelving unit over there. I've st things are still kind of fluid. i got to figure out, you know, my chi, gotta get things organized. Um, but yeah, let me get this unbolted, we'll take a look and then see where maybe we can put this. Stay tuned. All right, so panel is off. And it looks like, you got a bunch of capacitors and looks like you might have Three phase, what is this? Three phase, that's a single phase there. If you can read that. Um, it's on the other side. I'm gonna turn the camera sideways, hopefully it comes out. So, you got three 
face here. Oh, that looks like it goes out to the idler. This stuff. So that goes to here. These guys. And these guys come around and go out here. This must this might be the load. So the actual motor. Looks like I need some research. I need to figure out uh thinking maybe two phase, or not two, the single phase comes in right here, and then three phase comes out here, which means that if this is the top, that both connectors, or both sets of wires come out the top, possibly three phase coming out of here, single phase coming in over here. But, uh, let me let me do some research, figure out what I'm doing, make sure that that is correct. I might call up American Rotary, maybe see if they have a manual online, but uh, let me do that. I might get it mounted or situated over there on the other side of the machine, and then I'll bring you guys back and show you what I did. All right, bye. All righty, so a couple of days later, couple of trips to the store, whether it's Home Depot or supply store, and a few calls between me and the American Rotary, and I got stuff wired up. So you can see here, I got a 70 amp um, breaker in the panel, it comes up, and that large number two wire comes through, and you can see it hooks up over to here. Um, so previously I was wondering where the three phase and the single phase were. So there's two leads up here and that's for each leg of the single phase. And those are tied, those are the same that are over here. So there, it's kind of a mirror image on either side. So there's two up here and three down here. And they're, they're, all, they're, they're connected going through this panel. So the, the single phase comes in, hooks up into these two guys. And then the idler motor comes up here and is mounted to these three. Um, so basically the way I have it set up, and I think it's you know probably traditional uh, input, is all the inputs are coming in this way and outputs for the machine uh, are on this side. So this comes up, goes over, and comes down to here. So we got everything wired up. Um, I got connectors. I didn't actually hook them up because I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted it here. So in the future, if I ever move the machine to a different shop or somewhere else and I needed the longer length cable, um, I could have it. Or I couldn't decide if I wanted it there or if I wanted it over here that way in case I didn't want to put the motor back on or do other maintenance stuff here, I could unplug it here, have it hang down and have open area and not have a cord here. So um, I left it the way it is. I'll hold on to these. These are freaking expensive. These are like 30 bucks each, but I'll hold on to that for future. Um, what else? Oh, I guess I'll, I'll turn it on real quick so you guys can, can see that I'm not lying. <laughs> So it's on. Idler motor, as you can hear, is running. Everything's going. Uh, the switch for the machine is not on right now, but we do have uh, live wires coming in that are hooked up. Um, let me turn it off real quick. So during the setup, I got the um, an old PDF of this version of American Rotary's um, rotary and because the, the new ones are all online but they didn't have this one posted online so American Rotary is really nice and sent me the the PDF of the ma manual so during the setup you measure between the different legs here and you can see I got the light behind me so it might be a little bit of a shadow but you can see it's T1 T3 and then T2 on the back side and then up here you got uh, L1 L2 
single phase, three phase. So you measure between the different legs, um, and if you read it in the, in the instructions, you'll understand. And just to show you guys what I'm doing, I did that, and you can see uh, the single phase coming in is 243, and then between the different legs on the three phase side, between uh, T1, T2, you got, I got 244, one to three is 255, two to three is 263 and then so during this you after that you get the you get you do the math and you find the average which is 254 and then using that you find out what how far those guys are uh the, the 244 255 and 263 are from the average and then those are what you're called your imbalances so you can see they're all within four percent i'll say American Rotary says that they balance all theirs to be within 5%. But they also say that these voltages here should be within 13 volts of this guy. You can see this one is almost 20 above that. So it's a little concerning. Uh, with it being the weekend, I can't immediately call up American Rotary. So I gotta, I gotta wait till Monday to call them. But once I figure that out, I'll be able to work on this side, which means I'll be looking in here at these guys. You can see there's jumpers here, 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 and here. And you can see there's, you can see, they, Fadal says L. It's kind of uh, confusing between American Rotary and Fadal, but it's L1, L2, L3, which is, which are, all three legs of the of the three phase power coming in so we use this chart in the future with these jumpers in inputs um, from each leg once we figure this out so once we figure this out we'll go back here and configure this because I, what i think this is configured for just to give you guys a little preview you can see for each leg you got all the inputs are coming in on on the eighth I'll say pin or connector and then you got jumpers for each between four and six so if we go over to the chart and we go to between four and six and then input on eight you can see it's supposed to it's set up for 490 so, as you guys know from those notes, I'm not running 490. So, I got to figure out first if those numbers with this setup are correct or if I need to do anything. I know you can change some of the capacitors to adjust these voltages, but I want to confirm that with American Rotary before I continue. Once I get this figured out, next video will be for setting this up so I can I can flip that switch so a little delayed but uh, I'd rather go through this do it correctly and get it all right and not have to blow any boards because I've seen other guys on YouTube or other forums that they'll blow, they'll blow a board in here um, possibly this guy which is where the three phase comes into but thanks for following along I look forward to finishing this up, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, whatever, and uh, maybe you guys can learn as I'm learning. Thanks for watching. See you next time.